As always guys, this is just for entertainment purposes only, this is not financial advice. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are just joining my channel, I am a value growth dividend investor. That means I invest in stocks that are trading at a great valuation, are growing really well and also give a small dividend. We don't need to have a huge dividend, but or are returning value to shareholders in some other way. They can return by debt repayment, they can return by uh, buying back shares or by giving out a dividend. And this is one company I want to talk about. Uh, ATNS, Austrian Technology and System Technique recently have rebranded to uh, Austrian Technology and Solutions. So what we see when we look at their stock, it looks incredibly cheap. Look at the PE ratio of this stock. 4.67 so guys this is incredible of how lowly priced this stock is um, this is a massive profitable company uh, and you can see like the market does really have uh, rewarded the stock for that because when you look at the last year it went down from 40 to 35 in the world one of the worst years since 2008 so um, it looks like the market has recognized the potential uh, this only has a market cap of 1.3 and we're expecting sales of 2 billion in the coming year. So it's trading yeah, a massive growth company like this. I mean, I will go out over the growth numbers um, later, but uh, yeah, first I want to tell you a little bit more about the company. For those of you who have following my channel in my last list, uh, dividend update, I think it was my update from November. I wrote quite a little piece um, or I, I showed quite a little piece uh, on this company. So what I like uh, recently is that they've started to rebrand. So it's now Austrian Technology and Solutions, which sounds a lot better in English. I always said the only bad thing about this company is its name. Um, I mean, for foreign investors, <laughs> uh, especially from outside Europe. Um, it was quite hard to pronounce, so they are really uh, are putting in an effort to get their company known. Um, so what do they do? They are in the microchip business, but not exactly. They are in this, um, uh, <laughs> what, what's it called again? Um, circuit boards, of course. They are in the circuit boards business. So they are helping in that way um, lots of companies that are also in the microchip business. So look, this is an article of January 2023, uh, so, so just a few days ago. And um, it really, it tells what I've been telling on my channel about this company for a while now. So what do they write? The number of transistors that fit on a microchip has doubled roughly every two years uh, because of Moore's law. However, the size of a transistor is now specified in atomic diameters and is approaching fundamental physical limits that cannot be overcome with the technology used. Luckily, one of the technologies that can help with this is the technology of ATNS, who is a leader in packaging and bundling of specialized chips together. Um, so they are really they're working together with Intel. Um, and I think together with Intel, they will be producing uh, uh, the best chips that will probably rule uh, for the coming decades. Um, but they're doing more than just microchips. So it's not just microchips. They are a lot in sensors uh, in the medical world, in 5G. They are in all kinds of markets. Um, see here, they are really without they are really helping um, self-driving because their sensors are very important to self-driving and they're really expanding they're building extra factories they're building a research center in austria factories in malaysia so they are growing like crazy you can also see this here so here you can see the revenue growth so it's been a few years of flat but here, uh, not surprising, of course, uh, during the big microchip boost, they got a little boost and they used these earnings to invest more. You see, uh, some people say, oh, this boost is temporary and this and that. But you also have to look how much profit did these companies make and what can they do with it. And in case of 
um, Austrian Technology and Solutions, they only had in this time about 1% of the market. Um, that should be about 2% uh, in the coming year actually, so they really grown a lot. But this is a, a 100 billion market and it's still growing very, very fast. So that means they have a lot of potential to grow still. But the only thing they have to is being the best. And I'm not saying they are the best, but I mean, they really have great technology and they might be the best. They might be. Um, it's too early to say that, but their, their technology is amazing. And you can see here that analysts predict the coming years that their uh, revenue is going to keep growing. So um, they, they just updated it uh, for 2025. And I already calculated the value of this stock, but the numbers here are actually better than my assumptions. <laughs> so uh, even though it's a crazy market, um, I'm going to show you now what I value this company at. So here is my my Excel. Those of you who are following my channel have seen it before. Uh, it's a really easy way for me to put in some assumptions. So here in terms of the free cash flow, I just put in the assumptions of uh, the analysts actually. So I didn't really have to uh, make up anything. But here, uh, how fast it will grow from there. That is something I had to put in myself and I took really conservative growth guys currently they're growing at about 25 percent per year so i think if i slow down after a few years to nine percent that's super conservative i also put in different growth numbers uh we're, we're currently trading at uh, 32 i have to update that i think we're at uh, 35.2 now we're currently trading at 35.2 um so uh, <laughs> it's already higher than when I made this original calculation uh, a few months ago. Um, so, but still trading at a discount of 80%. So I think its fair value is 168. Again, guys, this is trading at a fourth PE of six. Fourth PE of six. So can you imagine if it would trade at a forward PE that most of these uh, leaders in semis are trading. So then it would be already at 400% uh, stock gain <laughs> for, for just not doing anything. And that's not even taking into account the massive growth that this company has. Uh, what, were, what are my criteria for investing in a stock? So I always look at PE lower than 25. Uh, so check. Uh, when I actually started looking at this company, the PE was actually quite higher, but it just grew so fast that uh, it's crazy. Um, I first bought this in July, by the way. So that's when I started buying this and uh, haven't really advertised it massively on this channel because that's absolutely not my intention. Um, I don't need to advertise a company on my channel. Actually, it's I have um, benefits not to advertise because then I if I encourage people to buy this and the stock goes up, uh, then I can't buy it anymore. So it's, um, I want to keep buying this as long as it's cheap. Uh, so future earnings growth large than 6%. I'm calculating at the 25% right now. Uh, very, very great balance sheet. Oh guys, I should show you that. But the balance sheet, they have about uh, 1 billion on their balance sheet right now. Um, which they can use to build new factories. So they are definitely going to use all of that money to invest back into the company. But it means they're financially fantastically healthy. They do have some debt as well, but it's a really, really healthy company right now. The balance sheet is fantastic. They have a dividend. Uh, it's already a little bit lower here than, than uh, my original calculation. Uh, the margins are quite good. Um, so 15% net margin. Uh, yeah, they have a margin cap, but yeah, this is not so um, so important what their cap is. It's more important what their valuation is. I don't care if it's a large cap, small cap, or even a startup for all I care, as long as the valuation is good. Um, no buybacks, unfortunately, but yeah, okay, they give out dividends, so there is some shareholder return. Um, there's no buying or selling, and I put in different growth numbers, so if I put 3%, even a modest 3% after 2025, by the way, 
uh, then it's still worth 143, but that's such an unrealistic number considering the massive investments they made, considering the opportunity in the market right now. Um, and then uh, you have also Prastar Medium, that's with a 9% growth and it comes at 184. Uh, actually a little bit lower because I increased um, the, the risk. Uh, so I'll have to update that uh, 168. And then the price target high, 15% growth. And that's 212, so 212. And I think 15% growth, it's really not unreasonable. So this could be one of those um, massive multi-bagger stocks actually. Uh, and it's a European stock. It's a little bit like the ASML uh, stock that is trading in Amsterdam, I think. Um, that's before it actually got discovered. Now it's massively overvalued and everyone wants to have it. Um, and I think this stock will be exactly the same without this technology. Uh, chip makers are going to be massively behind. Um, so, I mean, if, I, if they could keep up their growth momentum of 25%, don't think I uh, don't think they can uh, because the more you grow but at the same time look at the market 100 billion market guys and if they have the best technology why not so then we come at a 308 price target so multi bagger stock <laughs> so that's why I've also been buying and I'm probably going to buy some more I actually have a buy order for Monday uh, so by the time this video gets released probably I will have bought some more stock and I will probably keep buying as long as it's trading at a very nice valuation like it is now. I like healthy stocks, I like fast growing stocks and I like stocks that are returning shareholder value. Guys, I hope you're all learning something here. If you feel like this was valuable, then please like, please subscribe, leave a comment if you know and if you like this stock and see you next time. Oh, and not financial advice and stuff.